Angels are saying to you, your dreams are not out of reach. You are embodying your truest and wildest nature, and the universe is working in your favor. Your heart is a magnet for miracles. Never forget that. Being yourself unapologetically makes you unstoppable. This new chapter of your life you are entering right now is going to bring deep spiritual experiences, healing, and transmutation. You are going to be transformed, reborn, and you will rise like phoenix from the ashes. Be patient and believe in yourself. Your vision is coming to fruition. Everything is aligning and coming together in the most unexpected and magical ways. Everything you are going through right now is preparing you for the most wonderful blessings of your life that are yet to come. Just trust that you will soon reap the rewards of your labor. Be patient, be present, be grateful. There is always a way to bring your dream into reality, but it requires you to accept the help of the universe by surrendering to the unknown. When you accept the unknown and accept that there is a perfect timing for everything, synchronicities appear to show you the way. There is something profound and powerful waiting for you this month. You are on the way to embody more wisdom and unlock more of your superpowers. You will eventually celebrate the beautiful milestones and victories. Have no doubt. Love the journey and everything will eventually fall into place. Sometimes separation is just a natural part of your journey. Even if it feels forever, it is not. It is a necessary season while you are mastering the unknown world. It is an intense season of growth that produces your dream rewards. All is well. Trust that everything that is coming your way this August is meant to elevate you and bring you closer to your dream. Be ready to receive all the blessings. Don't let doubt talk you out of your dreams. Focus on the positive. Convince yourself and believe unconditionally. It is all coming together for you. You have to believe in your dream and know that it is unfolding for you. There is no need to stress and worry. That's the opposite of trust. Believe unconditionally. There are no coincidences. All that you experience is divinely guided for your highest good. Not always it is easy to see good in everything, but there is always good in everything. Embrace uncertainty. Let go of the need to control everything. Trust the universe. Appreciate the journey. Find joy in sacred simplicity. Never lose your inner child. Please don't skip this video in the name of Jesus. Subscribe our YouTube channel to reach 40,000 divine subscribers before April. Share this video to 100 people only if you love God Jesus. And share super thanks dot type amen to affirm. Move forward with your heart wide open. Love over fear. There are days when you don't feel that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But those are the days that define you. You don't have to give all you have got on those days. It's okay to slow down. But don't give up. Trust your path and believe that whatever it is you are facing right now is only temporary. You will overcome all obstacles and endure all hardships. In the process, you will grow wiser and stronger. Just be there for yourself. Believe in yourself. Expand to meet your destiny. Don't be afraid of what could go wrong. Stay grounded in your best self available at this time and tap into the highest timeline. You are ready and worthy. There is something profound and meaningful waiting for you this month. You will unpack more clarity, gain new insights, and embody wisdom. Be ready to recognize it. There are days when you don't feel that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But those are the days that define you. You don't have to give all you have got on those days. It's okay to slow down, but don't give up. You overcame a lot, and you will have to overcome a lot. 
Don't get discouraged by the very essence of your journey. Embrace everything as inevitable for your own highest good. Don't give up the hope and have faith that your situation will be better. You will rise again and the happiness will be with you. Just keep on moving forward one step at a time. Your time is coming and all your efforts will be rewarded. Have no doubt that the universe loves you and your beautiful, stubborn and loving heart. The best you are yet to experience. Trust your path and love the journey. Keep your energy high and don't let things bring you down. Embody your greatness. Don't miss an opportunity to be and feel grateful for what you have around you before it's gone. It's very easy to take things for granted. Pause for a moment and reflect. See everything that's beautiful in your life. Love yourself enough to accept and forgive for your downfalls and mistakes. Everything is part of your journey. All of it is necessary for your growth and evolution. Father God, help me to hear your true voice more clearly and be increasingly able to identify lies and half-truths that come my way. I choose to trust what you say about who you are and about who I am. Help me to believe and not doubt your word. Amen. God, you are so great. You created the universe and yet, you still choose to care about me. This blows my mind. Thank you for being all-powerful and ever-present at the same time. Please don't let me take for granted the gift I have of an intimate relationship with you. In Jesus' name, Amen. God, thank you for the heart you've given to me. Thank you for the circumstances in my life that lead me to trust you and minister to others. I want to keep a soft heart, a heart like Jesus. Help me walk in this posture, God. Thank you. Amen. God, I am humbled that you carefully consider my life. Even though I am only here on earth for a moment, you care deeply about that moment. When I really think about this, it humbles me. Who am I that the God of the universe cares about me? Thank you for loving me. Today, show me how to consider others like you have considered me. In Jesus' name, amen. God, it's in your presence that I find joy. You are so kind to me, and your compassion and mercy follow me relentlessly. There is nowhere I can go to escape you, and there's nothing I can do that would scare you away. You are constantly inviting me to seek you and accept you. Thank you for never giving up on me. Today, I want to pursue you. In Jesus' name, amen. God, thank you for your strength in me. Because of your work in my life, I am not defeated by the darkness in the world around me. Help me to remember that you overcame who is in the world. You live in me, which means I can share in your victory. Help me remember this and hold on to it. In Jesus' name, amen, God. It is your word that guides me. So please deepen my understanding of scripture so that I can clearly know your will. As I draw near to you, please show me what plans and desires I need to surrender and which ones I should pursue. In Jesus' name, amen. God, even when I am facing so many troubles, you are faithful. When I am tired, overwhelmed, burnt out, grieving, your love still covers me. Thank you for showing me kindness and mercy every day. Your mercies never cease. Your steadfast love endures forever. Great is your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. Father God, you are faithful. Nothing is impossible for you, and nothing is too hard for you. My problems, pain, grief, and hurt. You know it all, and you carefully support me through every season. Today, I could really use your guidance. Please show me a way through the difficult situations I'm facing and fill me with your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. God, nothing compares to how great you are. 
The heavens declare your glory, and the earth points to your power. You are holy and set apart. You are above every area of my life, and it is by your hand that my world is held together. All glory and honor belong to you alone. Hallelujah and Amen. They say I have my Father's smile, and some say I have His eyes. I even find myself being the female version of Him at times, screaming and saying awful things, surrounded by the tendency to control life and what an ironic thing, for I look back into their eyes and I scream, I am not like my Father. I try and convince myself that I have not picked up any of His bad traits but I am a collection of them at times, and the only good thing he passed down to me was his smile that once lit my whole world up and his brown eyes that used to make me feel a little more calm. But everything is temporary, for even such two things are now also things I have categorized as his bad traits. And my father hates anchovies and psychology. He claims it to be bullshit, and does not find life to have any meaning. My father loves life and music and laughter, but is probably one of the most troubled humans that encompasses this planet. And my father has so many friends, but is the loneliest person I have ever come across. My father would chop himself into pieces if that's what it takes to keep me safe. But my father also claims me to be a strong, hard-headed woman just like my mother because he can't seem to grasp the idea that he isn't superior. My father would do anything to make me happy, but is the cause of most of my misery. They say I have my father's smile, and some say I have his eyes. Some nights I stare up to the sky and I cry because I can't be like him, and I do not want to morph into an older version of him. My father is a paradox. He takes me into loopholes and it's exhausting and hard. And if you were to ask me if I love my father, I would look you in the eyes and say, As his daughter I love him to death, but as a human I cannot stand his presence. I guess sometimes the people you love most are the people that destroy you the most. But dear human, we can't hold on to the hurt we feel for the rest of our lives for in the end, we are only destroying ourselves. And just like it will for me, it might also take a long time for you to heal and come to understand not everything is as it seems and not everyone in this world is a good person. And such things are still hard for me to understand, but baby steps we both will get there, beautiful humans. And I guess it's even harder because the person who's supposed to shelter and protect and love you the most does not always know how to do such a thing. And it sucks, and it hurts, and it leaves me crying some days, but it's up to us to break such destructive patterns we see in the people we love and learn from, their mistakes rather than turn into a makeup of their mistakes. People are often unreasonable illogical, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give the best you've got anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. This is your life. You're allowed to change your mind, to change your heart. You're allowed to be a different person, to wake up one day and not want to do the things you've been doing all your life. You're allowed to love who you want, to move on from the people who are not good to you, 
to let go of anyone without any kind of explanation, without any kind of regret. You're allowed to make mistakes, to learn from them, or not to learn from them and experience everything all over again. You're allowed to forget your past if you want to, or to stay in it, but you must also understand that this is not how you will grow. You're allowed to change careers, to dress differently, to chase different dreams, to change locations, even if, at first, you're terrified to do so. You're allowed to dislike yourself, but also allowed to change those same parts you don't see eye to eye with, to work on them until you're completely comfortable with who you are. This is your life. Make it count. Make your own validation, your own path, your own way of life. You are enough, and you are not broken. You're a lot stronger than you want to believe. Now breathe. All the right things are going to happen. All the right people are going to come, and all the wrong people are going to leave. You're going to have a beautiful home that brings you peace, and you're going to have a dynamic career that gives you purpose. You're going to wake up next to the love of your life and spill sweet words over morning coffee. You're going to have slow Sundays and wholesome holidays. Your art is going to be impactful and you're going to be recognized for your devotion. You're going to travel and see the world and you're going to encounter incredible people along the way. You're going to be seen for who you are and appreciated for all that you do. You're walking into win after win. Tell your heart to be at ease. Everything is working out better than you imagined. All of the hard work you put into elevating your spirit is about to pay off. Your next chapter is going to be so different. More miracles, more laughs, and more joy-filled days are heading towards you. Affirm your dreams. Claim your blessings. Declare your destiny. Your magic will light the way. Don't worry too much over whether someone's intentions towards you are genuine or not. The universe sees everything. Worry about staying true to who you really are and continue shining your light as you maneuver through your journey. In time, everything will be revealed to you in the right order. But for now, put your energy on what truly matters, your inner growth. When your heart is always in the right place, the universe sets your blessings up differently. Continue being exactly who you are and you'll find yourself in the winner's circle every day. Something about you has changed. Maybe it's the fact that you're no longer catering to the expectations that others have of you. Maybe it's the fact that you're spending more time looking inward than trying to control what's happening outward. Or maybe it's the simple fact that you no longer care to waste your energy on anything that doesn't feed your spirit in a positive and healthy way. Whatever it is, it's doing wonders for your journey. Ever since you started growing to the rhythm of your soul, you haven't missed a single beat. Continue maintaining a steady flow of gratitude between you and the universe. Somewhere inside you, an immense shift has taken place and it's resonating with every fiber of your being. Your aura has taken on a fresh, radiant glow that wasn't there before. Unlocking a new level of inner peace will do that to you. Shine on. It's never too late to realize you're made of magic. Be honest with yourself about what you need. Stop forcing your soul into situations that you know are going to drain you. Free yourself from those debilitating patterns and begin a new chapter. You're destined to be put in places that require the best version of you. There is, so pay attention to your intuition and love yourself enough to act on its guidance. You have so many blessings heading your way. Enjoy the process until they get here. Lately you've been taking a step back observing your every move and paying close attention to the decisions you're making. It's no wonder your journey is starting to shift in a different direction, a more magical one. The universe is about to reward you for the growth you've intentionally been making. 
Every fiber of your being can sense the changes in the air that are coming. Stay tuned for an endless supply of breakthroughs and blessings. Your soul has been aligning with them for the longest time. An unlimited amount of patience, humility, faith, and gratitude is what helped get you this far. Amplifying these virtues will take you even farther. Your mind, heart, and soul are clearing up so beautifully, just in time for the road ahead of you to do the same. It's important to understand that when you feel down, and when you're stressed, overwhelmed, or worried, your brain will often lie to you. It will often continue to supply you with even more thoughts and feelings that are similar to that which you're currently focusing upon or feeling or how you're currently seeing things. In that moment, your mind won't be able to help you. When your mind starts supplying you with those thoughts which are similar to how you're currently feeling, see that as a reminder to step back and choose again. In those moments when you're unable to see a solution or a clear way forward, see that as a sign that it's time to open up and allow other people to help you. I will work on myself and on my relationships. I will invest more time in myself. I will travel, explore, and adventure on my own, as well as with others, so I can learn about what makes me happy. I will spend less on materialistic things and more on experiences. I will try my best to let go of the past and move forward. I will accept that there are things I can't change and there's no point in getting upset over them. I will stop making excuses for others. If someone acts like they don't care about me, I will believe them. I will stop trying so hard to please everyone around me. I won't exhaust myself in trying to do everything right all the time. I will be the bigger person and remove myself from difficult situations, even if it means apologizing first and letting go of my anger. My peace of mind is more important than getting the final word. I will make more time for the people who bring me joy, the people who are good for my soul. I will wake up in the morning with a new perspective and I will treat each day as a new day, as a new beginning, as another chance, as an opportunity to start all over again. I hope 2024 brings you unconditional love and happiness. I hope that it fills your life with light. I hope 2024 motivates you and encourages you to follow your dreams. I hope that it keeps you safe and surrounded by your loved ones. I hope 2024 gives you strength. I hope that it helps you heal. I hope 2024 finally puts everything into perspective. I hope 2024 is your year. The year that it all falls into place. The year that everything works out. The year that your life comes together. I hope 2024 is your best year yet. And if it isn't, because things don't change as quickly as night turns today, although we can be hopeful that they do, I hope that you still make the most of it anyway. I hope that you keep smiling. I hope that you keep going. I hope that you keep giving yourself another chance to live the best version of your life. Because you deserve it because we all deserve to live the life that we dreamt of. We do. We do. I can achieve anything that I set my mind to. I deserve love and happiness. I am surrounded by love, friendship, and family. I am confident in myself. I am always enough. I am blessed with a beautiful life. I treat every day as another chance. I am proud of my journey so far. I love myself and I accept my imperfections. I am so much more than my mistakes and regrets. My happiness is my responsibility. I am becoming the best version of myself. I am dedicated to improving every area of my life. Every breath is a blessing in disguise. 
The new year is just another moment of existence in our extraordinary lives that we've been blessed with. The new year is a reminder of how far we've come and how much further we must go. It's a reminder of our strength to face all the battles we've had until now and the grace with which we hold our heads high, no matter the outcome of those events. The new year is a reminder of our unwillingness to give up, of our unwavering willpower, of our courage to get up each morning even when it's hard to, even when we don't feel like it, even when pain hangs in the air like a thick gray cloud, making it difficult to breathe, making it difficult to move on, to let go. But still, we try. Still, we choose to face one more day, one more morning tinged with the hangover of the past that hammers inside our head. Still, we decided to keep going, to keep moving, to leave it all behind and welcome another new day, to welcome another new moment where we can do life all over again. As we step into another year, there's no better time than now to make a positive change. There's no better time than now to start putting yourself first. There's no better time than now to love and cherish your close ones. There's no better time than now to spend quality time with your family and friends. There's no better time than now to express how you feel to those that you love. There's no better time than now to let go of any past regrets, pain, or anguish. There's no better time than now to focus on the present and on being happy. There's no better time than now to let go of what doesn't serve you. There's no better time than now to make the most of all the good things in your life. There's no better time than now to leave broken, unmendable relationships. There's no better time than now to set boundaries. As we step into another year, there's no better time than now to forgive, forget, and move on. There's no better time than now to try again. And there's no better time than now to give yourself another chance. I hope the people who are meant for you find you. And by this I mean the kind of people who come into your life like pockets of rainbows that splash it with color. I mean the kind of the people who fall into you and let you fall into them the way that you always wished. I mean the kind of people who are made of the same soft gold stardust as you, the people who fit into your crevices as though they were always supposed to be there. I mean the kind of people who just get you, and that's it. And by this I mean the kind of people who you can learn, heal, and grow with people who give you space but always stay within arm's distance in case you need them. I mean the kind of people who accept your thick layers, thin patience, and enormous heart, people who know that life hasn't been easy for you and who respect you, even if they may not always agree with you. I hope the people who are meant for you find you. And by this I mean the kind of people who will love you fiercely, people who will never make you feel less, or not enough, or too much. And by this I mean the kind of people who may not know too much about how it feels to be you, but they will never give up on you, they will always be here for you, they will always show up for you, they will always show up for you. Sometimes things go wrong, people leave, hearts break. Stuff that you didn't want to happen, happens. Experiences that are out of your control hit you like a wall, and there's nothing you can do other than accept this phase of life. In those moments, it's hard to believe that life will be okay again. Because how can it be when everything is going wrong? But things have to get better, don't they? Bad stuff happens in order for us to appreciate the good, and often things fall apart so that the pieces can join together in a new way, in the way that they were supposed to. Sometimes things go wrong because the patterns that existed were too toxic for us to continue. And because we refuse to step out of our comfort zone and accept what's meant for us the natural laws, higher reality God, they make that change for us. 
Sometimes things go wrong because there's no other way for them to go and challenges are essential for growth. And sometimes things go wrong because we're trying so hard to push pieces that don't fit together in order for life to make sense. But those pieces need to fall apart. We need to fall apart. Life needs to fall apart so that it can come together the way it was meant to. The right person will welcome you in your entirety, with all your burdens and struggles, with your blemishes, your rough corners, and with your darkness, the one that you try hard to hide from everyone but them. The right person will know what to do with you when you feel like a mess. They will wrap their arms around you when the world isn't being too kind, holding you as tightly as they can so that you don't fall apart. The right person will listen to you attentively, and when they don't know what to say, they will look at you with kind eyes and a gentle smile that will make everything okay. But they won't lie to you to make you feel better. The right person will be honest, even if it hurts, because they will know that it will make you a stronger and better person. The right person will know that your past experiences don't define you beyond making you who you are today. They will appreciate the lessons you've learnt, and they will accept everything about you, even the brutal truths, that you wish you could change. The right person will never question your worth. They will always cherish your heart and treat you as you are meant to be treated. The right person will come, so don't settle for anything less when you know that you deserve all of this and more. Some days will feel harder than others. Some days will demand that you look at them directly to find your deepest fears staring back at you. Some days will push you to the edge of your will and pull you back just before you decide to give up. And they will be hard. So, so hard. Days when the sun is still shining but you don't feel bright at all. Days when everyone around you is smiling but you can't bring yourself to feel the joy. Days when, no matter how much you tell yourself that you will be okay, you don't believe it. But it will be okay. Life is constantly fluctuating. The different shades of life are what allow you to grow, to change, to accept that life is not always going to be easy, but it is always worth living. Even through the difficult days, the hard to swallow days, the days when everything makes sense and nothing does at the same time, even those days, life is always worth living. Life won't always go according to plan, but that doesn't mean that what's taking place is not supposed to take place. Life can be completely unexpected in the most wonderful way, but what's meant to happen will happen. And sometimes that's not what you want, but it doesn't mean that it's not best for you, because it is. At the time you experience things, you might not appreciate what's going on because you might think that the natural laws are against you, but really, over time you will realize that everything that takes place is for your growth. It's for your well-being. It's for you. What's meant to be will be, and this is the truth of existence. You need to accept that sometimes your wishes won't be granted, but that's because something better is written for you. And you need to accept that your plan may not always work because there's a plan much bigger than you that incorporates us all. And you need to accept the most important thing of all, that what doesn't break you only makes you stronger. And that's what the lesson should be. You must find strength within your scars and you must search for light in the dark. And if you can't find it, you must become the light. And you must keep going. You must keep going. Have the strength to let go of people in order to save yourself. Not everyone is going to be good for you. And sometimes you need to look at all the reasons why it won't work out, rather than focusing on the one reason why it will and letting that lead you. The doubts that you have in the beginning become the reason why everything shatters in the end. 
and it's better to protect your heart rather than let it run wildly time and time again, causing itself grief. Remember this if someone is meant to be in your life, even if you let them go to protect yourself, they will come back at a time when they're good for you and you're good for them. So, don't force relationships. If it doesn't feel right, then let it be, and know that whatever is destined for you will always find its way back to you. Have faith, because it will. Until then, be there for yourself and take care of your heart, because it needs you to. Often, the biggest lesson you can receive is knowing when to say, I am moving on from you. But it's an action that you need to take if you care about yourself. It doesn't matter how happy they make you. If they are also the cause of your sorrow, then you must leave and not return until you can be just happy in their presence. This isn't to say that they can't bring you sorrow, but if there isn't an abundance of happiness and there is an abundance of pain, then you need to leave in order to save yourself. If you can never be just happy with them by your side, if pain will always follow and outweigh the happiness that they bring, then you need to accept that this was as far as this person was meant to stay in your life. What you often the most beautiful lessons are the hardest, and leaving over what is the most difficult out of the rest to do. But to love yourself, you need to learn to let go of those who can't give you the happiness that belongs to you. You must accept that life will not always go according to plan, but that does not mean that what is happening is not supposed to happen. What I am trying to say is this, Life is completely unexpected in the most wonderful way, and that is because whatever is meant to happen will happen. And sometimes that is not what you want, but that is the beauty of it. You can put certain things into action, but the remaining will always be governed by the laws of nature, acting in a way that promotes your well-being. At the time you experience things, you may not appreciate what is going on because you might feel that the gods above or the natural laws are against you, but really, over time you will realize that everything that takes place slowly fuels your growth. What is meant to be will be, and this is something we need to understand. We need to accept that sometimes our wishes will not be granted, but that is because something better is envisioned for us. And we need to accept that our plan may not always work because there is a plan much bigger than us that incorporates us all. And we need to accept the most important thing, that what does not break us only makes us stronger. And that is what the lesson should be. We must find strength within our scars and we must search for light in the dark. And if we cannot find it, we must become the light. And we must keep going. We must keep going. If someone genuinely cares about you and wants you in their life, they will do whatever it takes to keep you there. If you're confused about how they feel, if they pull you in only to push you away, if what they say troubles your mind or makes you feel misunderstood, then you must let them go. Actions speak louder than words, and if you can't see love or care for yourself in their eyes, then that probably isn't there. I know that you want to give them the benefit of doubt. They need time. You're pushing them too much. Or you both should take it slow. All these possibilities are valid, but they don't apply in cases where you're not sure about your place in someone's life. It's fine to take extra time if you're both headed in the same direction. It's okay to walk slowly on this journey if you both want to get to know each other as friends before anything else. But if they confuse you or give you mixed signals, or if they treat you right only to treat you badly again, then they're bringing negative energy into your life which is not okay. Trust me when I tell you that you can't chase love or care. Because if you must force love, then it is never going to be love. 
Loving you hasn't been terrifying or scary like I thought it would be. It's weird because after everything my heart has gone through, I thought I would be jumping into an ocean without knowing how to swim when I fell for you. But you showed me that love doesn't have to make you afraid. You showed me how soft others can be to your heart when they know how to take care of it. You showed me that words can be actions, and some actions change your life for the better without you having any idea that it was going to happen. Because loving you was never part of the plan, but it happened anyway. And it has been one heck of an adventure. I've realized now how beautiful love can be when it's healthy and good for you. I've realized now how comforting love is, especially when you don't expect it. I've realized now that love isn't about crazy expectations or butterflies in my stomach, but a lifetime of adventures. You showed me that love doesn't have to break your heart. Love doesn't have to hurt you. Love doesn't have to be rough or messy. Love doesn't have to be hard, because you showed me how beautiful love is when you're with someone who treats you right. You deserve an I will put you first and nothing else matters kind of love. A lift your feet off the ground every time that we hug kind of love. A pick you up from the front door and take you for a spontaneous drive kind of love. A hold your hand tight when I'm driving kind of love. A we can argue, but I won't let you sleep without saying goodnight kind of love. You deserve a here's the meds, a soup, and a hug cause you're sick kind of love. A we'll work through everything together kind of love. And I'll never give up on you kind of love. A love that gets stronger with each passing day kind of love. You deserve a happens once in a lifetime, but changes your life forever kind of love. Healing is uncomfortable. It is a long journey. It is upwards and downwards and taking five steps forward and three steps back. It involves tears and pain and lots of struggle, but it gives you so much back. Lessons, growth, wisdom, closure. Healing isn't like the process of an external scar being replaced with new skin. It's more like a broken ceramic glass being glued together with love, lessons, and people. You will heal through broken hearts and healthy relationships. You will heal through jobs and careers and friendships. You will heal as you adventure through life. You will heal as you leave the country, start a new adventure, and give up on old love. You will keep healing and healing and it probably won't stop even when you're older. You will just get wiser. You will just get stronger. Healing won't act as an anesthetic that makes you numb. Instead, it will bring the pain to you and teach you how to live with it. That's what healing will do. That's what healing will do. Learn to forgive yourself for every time you acted against what you deserved because you put someone else first. For all those days you spent alone with your phone in your hand, restless, refusing to ring the only person whom you wanted to hear from, because deep down, you knew that they weren't going to pick up. For each night you spent wiping tears that dampened your pillow over people who couldn't take care of your heart. Learn to forgive yourself for being soft in a world that didn't know what to do with a soul like yours for taking time to learn that love is not pain. Love does not make you uncomfortable. Love is not unsure about you. Love is not wrapped up in apologies and band-aids to cover up all the scars that weren't there before they arrived. Love does not leave too soon or arrive when you no longer want it. Learn to forgive yourself for thinking that love is all those things because those you love didn't know how to cherish you in return. Learn to forgive yourself for questioning love rather than the people who didn't know how to carry the weight of it in their hearts. Learn to forgive yourself for trusting, hurting, and breaking more than once over someone who wasn't worth it. And accept that with forgiveness comes a new chapter,
With forgiveness comes hope that you have learned what you needed to. With forgiveness comes responsibility to trust yourself. With forgiveness comes the belief that you know what's right for you and from now on, you will never accept anything less than what you deserve. Even at your best, you will not be good enough for someone who does not have the capacity or the will to love you. And while there is a very human part in each and every soul that leaps towards needing to prove ourselves, to care more, to try harder just to demonstrate our worth at the end of the day, if another human being does not see the value that is pinned and blooming within you, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how hard you fight for someone who isn't fighting for you. It doesn't matter how deeply you show up for someone who isn't showing up for you. It doesn't matter because those souls don't actually see you. If they did, they would respect you because you deserve to be respected. They would value you because you deserve to be valued. They would honor your heart. They would protect it. Don't ever forget that the right people will choose you. They will see you. They will dive into the depth of you and you will never have to force those connections. You will feel at peace. You will always be good enough for them. Anything else is not for you. I. Sometimes the root of feeling not good enough comes from holding yourself to someone else's ideal rather than your own. Remember that you are the only person who gets to decide if you are good enough in this world. You are the only person qualified enough to determine your value. Please do not put your happiness or your self-love or your belief into the hands of other people and their validation or understanding of you. Do not make it contingent on their acceptance of you or their willingness to love you or care for you or choose you. All you have to focus on is building the kind of life that is yours and yours alone. All you have to do is focus on building yourself into the kind of person you are proud of. You are a direct reflection of your worthiness here. Nothing can externally dictate that. Nothing has that power unless you give that power of yours away. Don't give that power away. Make yourself happy on your own terms. Distance yourself from those in your life who constantly remind you of who you used to be. Despite how hard you have worked to learn and grow and become a better human being. T. Maybe you will never get back to the person you used to be. But maybe that is okay. Maybe that is something to celebrate, something to embrace. Because who you were is a version of yourself that exists in the past. A version of yourself that didn't go through the heartbreak or the hardship. A version of yourself that did not have to navigate all of the ways in which life was trying to weather it. Who you were is a version of yourself that didn't have to fight their way out of the dark, that didn't have to deal with the things that cause change to crack within the soul of you, and those things transform a human being. Maybe you will never be reintroduced to that version of yourself. Maybe you will never get back to who you were. Maybe that version of yourself has evolved, has grown, into who you were meant to be at this moment in time. Maybe you have to lay down that expectation. Maybe you have to release that comparison. And instead, maybe you have to trust in the lessons and the ways in which the world has asked you to stretch towards your becoming. Maybe you have to stop looking backwards. Molting is the process by which a snake routinely casts off its skin to facilitate new growth. And sometimes life forces you to do the same. Sometimes life challenges you to shed relationships and ideals and the old versions of yourself that no longer serve you. So when you feel like you are not the same person, when you feel like you have unraveled, like you have evolved into someone you do not recognize, maybe that is something to honor. You have transitioned 
you have transformed, and life will ask you to do so time and time again as you journey through it. Do not fear your evolution. Claim it. Thanks for watching.